Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're doing a quick overview of Google's newest Android operating system, Android 2.3, also called Gingerbread. We'll also do some comparisons with the features in 2.2 versus 2.3. All right, so here we go over the differences that you can actually see first. The first thing you notice is in the user interface, the top status bar is now black instead of white. We also have uh, white menus, so let me tap on this. All the menus that pop up now are black now instead of white. Uh, we also have a shortcut to manage apps here that didn't exist before, which brings you directly into your running application, so you can close them if you need to, etc. And also, you notice up here at the time, the uh, the battery has been rotated, so now it goes down instead of to the right. Uh, and also, the AM PM has been removed from the time. Okay, next in the phone app, you'll notice that the keys are now black instead of gray. Um, we also have a button down here at the bottom for voicemail instead of add, which is what it used to be. Also, in the call log, you'll notice that images are now gone. They no longer display in there. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. Okay, in the messaging, there was a very minor change. I'm not sure why they did it, but normally there's a line underneath your images. Here, there's three dots. Okay, so the other ma major change is the keyboard. Uh, the keyboard's been spaced a little bit more for easier typing. It also has multi-touch, which allows your fingers uh, to tap the next letter before you're done tapping the first letter. So, for example, you wanted to do DK. And you'll see when I let go, both letters will come up. Uh, this also allows you to do little things that aren't really that important, but you can hold down Shift and type H, hold down Shift, J, K, I, just like you do with a normal keyboard. Okay, you can also do things like select text a lot easier. So if you tap into any text field, automatically a little arrow comes up, and you can hold that and use that to navigate through the text, which you couldn't do before. Uh, another thing you can do, if you hold down in here and you want to select all, let's say, these two arrows come up and you can actually use them both at the same time and determine what word you want to highlight and change. Okay, another thing is the download manager. Basically, this used to be integrated into the browser, now it's a separate APK, a separate app. Uh, you can be presented with a simple list of the downloads that are currently going, ones that have already gone, you can hold them and delete them and remove them from a list, etc. It just makes it a little bit easier uh, to manage your downloads than having to go through the browser to do it. Okay, so that's it for the differences that you can see. The other differences are all under the hood. Okay, so there are things for developers in the back end. Like there's better game development, there's uh, access to both the front and back cameras, and there's also some audio improvements like new formats and stuff like that that you really aren't going to be too interested in, but developers are going to have a great time uh, messing around with and bringing you new products. Okay, so some other features are better battery management. Uh, the phone will automatically turn off certain apps if they're running and they're using the battery and they don't need to be running. Um, so that's supposed to maintain battery life a little bit longer. Uh, it also has a thing called NFC. NFC is near field communications. Basically what it is, is it allows your phone to read tags, other NFC tags, uh, that it touches or goes near. Uh, this is really kind of used in things like speed pass at your mobile or uh, at, at check out with your Visa Pass, your Super Pass, whatever they're called. Uh, so they're basically what they're ultimately probably going to do is they're ultimately going to allow you to use your cell phone as a credit card. So you'll have your own little account on your cell phone or Visa will turn your cell phone on for you. And then you'll be able to use your cell phone to check out at vending machines, supermarkets, etc. Oh yeah, and there is one more last feature. 